Investing Demystified by Lars Croyer. Lars Croyer holds both an economics degree and an MBA from Harvard University. He is a former hedge fund manager and the author of two finance books, so it's fair to say he knows a bit about investing. The main message in this book is that markets are efficient and that most people cannot outperform the market or pick a fund manager to outperform the market for them after fees and expenses. Therefore, they would be better off becoming a rational investor and adopting a rational portfolio. Why you don't have an edge. Lars uses an example of a hypothetical fund manager that runs a fund and is looking to invest in a company's shares. She has access to all the latest research reports from the top investment banking analysts, knows the company's business models in great detail and may have even worked at the company or one of their competitors prior to becoming a specialist fund manager. She and her team probably also had some of the best educations from the best universities and business schools in the world. She meets regularly with industry experts, economists and attends company conferences on a regular basis and also combines this knowledge with excellent insight and experience before making a decision to invest. This is just one fund manager and all of the others are equally intelligent and well informed. When put like this, obviously most people almost have no chance of predicting share price movements better than the professionals, especially with only a couple of hours of research a week whilst trying to hold down a full-time job. But what about handing over the reins to a professional fund manager to beat the market for us instead? Lars also explains that only about 1 in 10 active funds beat the market after fees and expenses after 10 years. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that someone can pick the best performing active funds either. Lars recommends that most people will be much better off in the long run by accepting that they don't have an edge and opting for the rational portfolio. So what's in the rational portfolio? The rational portfolio consists of two asset classes. The first is an extremely low risk asset like cash or government bonds. Lars suggests that we should choose the highest rated liquid government bonds available to us, preferably in our own local currency. For a UK based investor, these would be UK government bonds, also known as gilts. The second asset class is an investment in a low cost world equity market index tracker. Lars says that this is the only investment that you will need for your equity exposure. The Global Equity Market Index Tracker is a product that allows you to own global equities based on their market value at an extremely low cost. The rational investor should then combine these two asset classes in proportions that suit their risk profile. Not only is this portfolio incredibly cheap, it is also globally diversified and extremely simple to construct. This strategy is also incredibly freeing as an investor no longer has to worry that they might have chosen the wrong fund or stock. Lars believes that this strategy will perform better than 99% of investors. Another key point that Lars discusses within the book is correlation risk. It's often common for an investor to overweight their home market. This is called home bias. By doing this, they are effectively saying that they believe that they are more well informed than the rest of the market and that capital has not been allocated efficiently between the countries around the world. A rational investor has already accepted that they do not have an edge. Currently, the UK is around 5% of the global equity market and a rational investor would accept that capital has been efficiently allocated and just by the global index. An investor with home bias has a geographically concentrated portfolio that will also move in tandem with their other assets. Therefore, the portfolio would probably go down in value at the same time as they would be at risk of losing their job, their house value declines, any potential future inheritances would go down and the value of their education would go down, etc. The global equity portfolio protects against this by de-risking non-portfolio assets. Throughout this book, Lars demonstrates how difficult it is to beat the market. He believes that it is possible to have an edge, and if this is you, then great, go and become the next Warren Buffett. But realistically, this is not likely to be most people. Therefore, they would be better off accepting that they can't beat the market and instead buy a low-cost global equity tracker and add high-quality government bonds according to their risk profile and long-term investment goals. Follow the principles in this book and you are well on your way to becoming a rational investor.